Some masters of the art of camouflage live in the world's coldest lands near the poles. fallen on a There are two birds hidden here. It is nearly impossible to see where they live because they have wonderful camouflage in the same as the ground. Now, let's look a bit more closely. The white feathers of the birds are a copy of the snow covering. The patches of the ground remaining among the snow are also carefully marked on the birds' wings. The ground and the birds look the same. It's impossible to distinguish them. It's when everything is with snow for birds. Almost impossible to make out the white The bird does not realize it, but its body is perfectly camouflaged. The black feathers around its eyes prevent it from being blinded by the light of the snow. Now it's... Snow has begun to melt. Plants have begun to emerge from the melting snow. New feathers have appeared on the bird's body. They are the same color as the new plant. And now, snow has melted and the ground cover has appeared. Again, the bird display a remarkable camouflage. Yet, is deliberate land change in the bird. Its body is design of ground. Again, it's impossible to describe. The bird cannot adjust the colors to match the environment. It does not have the intelligence to realize what Camouflage serves. In who gives it its remarkable camouflage? Who knows what kind of camouflage the polar must have received? Who marks the colors and designs of the environment on the feathers of the bird just like an artist? There's one answer to these questions.